Hey guys, I'm Viper and welcome to a brand new video. No, it's not a rant one, for a change. Um, yeah, it's a, a Christmas one and obviously it's getting very near to Christmas. Um, I want to try and make this video as short as possible because I've got a lot to cover and I'll try not to ramble on. Uh, I'm just going to get that out there now. Um, but first of all, I want to say to everybody, each one of my subscribers um, and to all my friends, um, to how I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I hope you get everything you wish for. Um, obviously, Australian and people from New Zealand. I know I do have one or two people from there uh, that are subscribed from there. Um, it'll be obviously you're near enough a day in front. You, I think like 12 or 13 hours even uh, in front. Um, so obviously you'll get to, you'll get to experience Christmas way before we will uh, in the UK. Uh, and obviously you Americans are going to be a bit behind because obviously you're a couple of hours behind us so obviously everyone gets Christmas different times of the year I think the people who live in the Scandinavian countries so uh, Norway, Finland and Sweden I think they have it around the 23rd or 24th so you know this is going to be hopefully this should come out on the Monday which I believe is the 21st so anyway enough of that um, aside from that I've got quite a few things to cover. Uh, as you can see, I've got my iPad, um, you know, hence the glow. Not all like a person telling ghost stories, but uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, first things first. Um, I want to give a few shout outs to quite a few people. Now, there's a lot of people that I like to give shout outs to. Believe me, there is loads of people. Um, something to just to give a brief mention, obviously Aaron and so on, uh, the F1 guys. But today, these ones are going to be a bit on the other end. So. A few people who I've never really mentioned on the channel before, um, and I think that do personally deserve a shout out um, because I know them either personally or I've been friends with them for a while. Um, we just haven't really spoken much and things like that. They've not asked me to. Don't don't worry. No, they haven't asked me to. I'll just emphasise that now. Um, so there's three that I've got on my list. Obviously, like so the, as well as giving shout outs to people I normally do, Aaron and Josh and Joe and all that sort of stuff in the F1 community. Uh, the guys that I'm going to be shouting out to, I said they're very small and so on, so if you can, be sure to go and see each of their channels and try and subscribe if you can. Um, apologies for that. Um, and um, yeah, just if you want to tell them I sent you, it's up to you, you don't have to. Um, but uh, yeah, get straight into it. So the first shout out is to a guy called Dated Rhyme. I think it's Dated Rhyme 519 aka Matt. Now, this guy is... Um, Basically, when I was in school, we used to be old schoolmates, and um, obviously, I've not been in school for about three or four years. He's still kind of in school, roughly, um, but he does uh, do vlogs and things like that. And um, he, he's basically one of those people that goes because obviously, I went to Eurogame. He goes to a game convention, near, I think, near enough every year, uh, called Gamescom, I think it is, which is located in, near Manchester. Um, and basically that happens like once a year and it's similar to your game and just not as big as an audience um, and so on so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Matt um, and I know he's probably watching so hi Matt um, but yeah like I said he's uh, a very good friend of mine and they insist that you can try and go and check out his channel if that made sense um, anyway moving on next channel uh, it, it's, it's Jessica or OX Jessica I think it is aka Jess. Now obviously for the first time ever I'm mentioning a girl. Um, don't ask why. But basically she's a person that's obviously like the guys in the F1 community. She's essentially part of the F1 community as well. Um, and she's... Um, I, I don't believe... I know that me and Mr. Danger is F1 and also Smooth Racing, so me, Aaron and Josh, um, we all talk to her online uh, through Twitter obviously. Uh, if she does put some F1 content up on her channel, I do recommend to go and check out her channel if you are intrigued. Um, and by the way, she's a very good race, so I'll put it, I'll put it that way. Um, if you guys watched my UTR Legends rounds, I think it was 11 and 12 about two weeks ago, I think which was Monaco and Belgium, the person who got the pole position in Monaco was Jess. Yeah, she beat me. So that says a lot. Uh, and also in Belgium, we had a pretty good scrap last lap. She started to struggle with the tyres. I caught up. Obviously, Josh passed us both. Um, but she was she's a very good race. Unfortunately, she's had to sell her Xbox 360, so she's got a PS4. But she's playing online with guys like uh, Jam Sankith, F1 Games PlayStation. So you know them, uh, them F1 guys. Um, so it's nice that even though she's left obviously like the Xbox side of things, we just got like me, Aaron, and so on. 
uh, on that side of things. She's much, obviously she's gone to PS4, but obviously she's still got friends on that side of the thing. If that makes any sort of sense. Um, so she's, you know, she's very, she's very friendly. Um, I put it that way. She's friendly, not in that way. She's very friendly. Uh, she's a very good racer, and by all means, I insist that you go and check out her channel if you're very intrigued about her and to see more about her. Um, and finally, the last one. Now, this one's a bit tricky to explain, but let me just be brief about it. Uh, it's basically, if you remember a while back, I visited a guy called Mr. Palm Tree 95, aka one of my old mates called Josh. Um, yeah, he's got a new channel um, called Palm Tree Gamers HD. Now before anyone starts laughing away or whatever, do not laugh. Uh, it's basically him and his brother, uh, which he also has a channel as well, I think it's Gunners Night 8 UK or something like that. Uh, basically them two obviously, because they're brothers, uh, they, they are making a channel, uh, they, they made, sorry, they made a channel, I've made, just bear that in mind, I've made the uh, banner and the profile picture, just thought I'd get that out there now. But um, they're basically going to be starting doing uh, YouTube content very, very soon. Um, obviously, go and check out the channel. Just have a look at the banner and profile picture. I'll guarantee I will update you soon um, if they're getting content up. I'm going to check on them myself. Um, so obviously, there's going to be a couple of things like that. Um, but that's about it in terms of shoutouts. So I think what are we at now? Five, six minutes. Jesus, that's gone quick. Um, but basically the next thing, moving on, uh, the next thing is that I'll be doing a collaboration with you guys. So I figured, well, I never really do it. I never do collaborations. Well, I do, but you know, like with Niran and so on. I want to kind of give something back. Now, I haven't decided on the game yet. Now that's up to you guys. What do you suggest? you want GTA 5, Forza Horizon 2, Forza Multiple 6? Basically something where we can get a lot of you guys involved. Now. There's obviously PC gaming as well. I do have some online PC games, um, mainly Team Fortress 2 and Gary's Mod, I think. Maybe, uh, maybe Dirt 3 or Dirt Rally. But I have quite a few, obviously, Project Cars. But uh, I want to try and stick to console base because obviously I can record it that way. Um, I could record on PC, but the problem is, is that the I haven't got enough memory to record half the stuff, and I won't be able to record for very long, probably 15 minutes max. Uh, before I end up running out of space. I use Fraps, I've tried using other recording software, but believe me, nothing's working apart from Fraps. Um, like it, it'll record stuff, but the, the frame rate won't be smooth like it would be in Fraps, um, which is odd. Um, but like I said, I want to give something back to you guys, so let me know what sort of game you want to play with me, and obviously we can come to sort of arrangement. I will try and post an update. It'll be after Crisps, obviously, when I post it, but I'll try and post a video when you guys have decided or I eventually come to a conclusion that I want to play this game uh, at this time for so many hours and I want to try and, because obviously I want to try and get as many of you guys involved as possible. By the way, you have to be a subscriber, I should just point that out. I can't just have willy nilly anybody. Uh, if you're a subscriber to the channel, by all means, um, just let you know, by all means you can join. Um, obviously a lot of you guys are new or have been around for a while some of you might be on ps3 and like oh i can't do it which is unfortunate i'm sorry uh, i'm trying to just you know like i said stick to it i'll either play xbox 360 or xbox one we'll have to see about that anyway that's that um next thing i'll mention is the goals for 2016 now i'll quickly go over the progression that we've had of this year and in summer, it's been absolutely fantastic. The, the growth of the channel has been amazing. Uh, I think we started off with around 200 subscribers or 190, I think it was, maybe at the start of the year. And my goal intentionally for this year was to hit like 325 or 350. And we're nearly at 400, we're at 440, I believe, um, at the moment, which is a mind blowing for me. Um, because, well, for one, I didn't think I'd get 400 until next year. Um, but also, it's it's mainly down to two reasons, I'll admit this. I think it's mainly down to two reasons. As well as producing decent quality content, in my opinion. Um, the main ones where I gained you guys to subscribe was when I did the F1 community video. Because so I know that gained a lot of attention and got a lot of people's attention. Obviously, it's a bit of a laughing stock now, but whatever. 
still I gained a lot of you guys from that and also when I did the F1 community rant again uh, a couple of months ago but it was to do with the F1 game rather than the actual community um, and I gained quite a few guys there uh, a few of your you know you people there so to be honest I think I'm after seeing what sort of progression we made this year I think I've decided on doing something next year and I'll basically explain what it is now uh, in the shortest amount of time as I can uh, but basically what it is, is obviously, now the rant videos are something that I do not like doing whatsoever. I only do them because, well, somebody's got to kind of take a stand. That makes my face look better. Um, but it's one of those things that when I do those videos, obviously I vent all my frustration out and a lot of people understand it. Some people can be like idiots, some people don't. But whatever, you know, some people can understand my opinion, other people can't and just go, oh, you're doing this to get views. I don't, I just do it so I can finally vent my, because where else am I going to vent my frustration? Think about it. I mean, yeah, I could do it on Twitter, but it'd take up more than 140 characters. I could do it on Facebook and I'd get my ass kicked by people. So, basically, YouTube's the easiest way of doing things, I suppose, to get something out there. I mean, look at the news. As if I go on the news to say, oh, the F1 community's doing this wrong and this wrong. Anyway, you get my point. Hopefully. But, basically what I'm going to do is next year I've decided that I'm going to do a couple of videos. Now, these particular videos, they will not be a rant in any way, they'll be basically to ask for your guys' opinion. So it'll be a bit of like, well, discussion video basically. Um, and I think it's going to be getting, it'll be quite interesting. Now you're thinking, well you've seen what happens when you've made rant videos and you've gained subscribers and you gain a lot of views. Are you doing it for views and subscribers? The answer is no, I'm not. Now, a lot of people are probably going, yeah, he's lying about that, he's lying. Honestly, I'm not. I'm not lying about that. I don't do it for subscribers or views. Like I said, the fact that I got 400 subscribers was basically down to the fact that these two community videos that I'd done this year was kind of, they gave me like 30, 20, 30 subscribers between the two of them, which was amazing. Um, and very surprising to see. I didn't think it would get that sort of response, and also I didn't think it would get that many subscribers because of it. Um, or gain any actually, I think I thought I might lose some um, because of those videos. Anyway, th these sort of videos, they, they can be like, well, well, let's see, well, what review of the game, maybe? A review of the game that's always opinionated, a lot of people can have their opinions on the game. Um, what about a racing series or a series of a game? So, for example, uh, the Conquer Rally series or the Driver series, you know, something like that. So, basically, like, is it going is it going to get better or even just genres of games in general like for instance I'll try and base them mainly around cars racing whatever you know MotoGP or anything like that I'll try and base them around that as best I can sometimes I might go off subject a little bit by doing ones like to do with COD and things like that that will get some people's attention I'll probably think uh, I think probably um, because obviously COD's a, a big gaming series a uh, big game franchise so well, you, you get my drift. I'm going to be doing them to get your guys' opinion. Obviously, you guys seem to watch them all the way through. Some of you guys respect my opinion, others obviously argue um, and say, oh, well, you're wrong and this, like that. And like I said, I respect all opinions, and that's what I'll be doing for them videos. And I think it'll be a very good. It won't be a series. Like I said, these videos will probably happen a couple of times in the year, next year. Um, I might get one out every week, possibly. And you're thinking, oh, God. That's possibly, I don't think I'll be getting one out every week, but I'll be probably looking at getting one out. If something not makes my blood boil, but if I want to look at something, say a gaming series, like say the new, well, for instance, a good one to start on would probably need for speed, comparing the new ones to the old ones. Are they, is it better than the old ones? Most people probably say yeah. Um, but you get my point, you know, I'll give my opinion on it. You guys obviously get your opinion in the, uh, the comment section. So it'll be very interesting. Um, you know, in that regard. So, anyway, enough of me rambling on about that. That's that. 